So we are at 15 Interlochen in Leamington, and it's just a quick look across the street, and we'll take a look at the outside of the house. Nice sized lot, um, and the landscaping looks pretty well intact. It needs a little bit of cleanup, but um, but it's not totally overrun or over overgrown what you'll notice I think it'll pick up in the video is the noise we do back right up to route 278 here um, and we'll go out back then and and see what it what it sounds like but it has this little courtyard entry here and um, coming in through the front door you see you come into hard, hardwood floors, which would most likely come up, and then into a good size living room area, living room, family room area. The stone on the stucco, uh, or the, the stucco on the fireplace, probably, that would probably need to come down. You'd rework all, all of this. Um, and maybe you could open it up to the kitchen. The kitchen's a little cramped. Um, you just you have these couple uh, closets over here. I'm just looking at what's on the other side of this fireplace, and then and then this, and that's probably a gas line, I guess, that goes into the fireplace. So it might not be the most practical thing to open this up, but. It, uh, it it would be nice because this kitchen is a bit a bit cramped. Um, the cabinets actually aren't bad in here. I'm not sure why they're all open, but they are. Um, but it is it's just a, a little bit cramped in here, um, but functional. And that is a, a tile backsplash. So how this relates to the rest of the house is that we came in the front door over here, came through here and around this side. We have a coat closet here. This I'm imagining may have been a garage at one point in time. It looks about the right size, but it's now a a big family room area and then behind that is the laundry which is also a good size and leads out to a service yard you have a half bath here and then you come back into this kitchen this floor is cu is cupping up you probably can't see in the video but it is it it is cupping up here but you come in here and replace those anyway um, you know if you have these doors closed. I quite frankly took these out all together. It might, sorry to be moving around so quick here, it does help to make this feel a little bit uh, less cramped in the kitchen. So that's the kitchen. Um, dining room back here. And then a Carolina room off of the dining and the living room and what I assume is going to be the master bedroom over here yeah and the floors in here are coming up just a little bit not as much as in the kitchen have your double vanities nice size walk-in closet and then a shower and commode. While we're back here, I'm gonna go out back to the pool. Let's see what's going on back here. So 
So this is definitely going to need some railing along here that has crumbled lots of big bamboo back in here. So this yard would really need to be cleaned up. And I'm sure the pool just needs to be needs to be serviced. I just want you to hear the road noise back here. So you definitely have some road noise. And you'll just have to let me know if that's a uh, sort of a deal breaker. Once you're inside, you, you really don't hear it. But of course, with that pool, I'm sure you'd like to be able to use, use that. The house doesn't really seem in that bad of condition. It needs a lot of updating, but, um, but it's, it's, it's not horrible. The, oh God, <laughs> that was right next to my ear. Um, sorry. You have a, another bath, hall bath here. This goes back into the, into that master bedroom that we were in. The hall bath here, which needs to be pretty much, this probably could be cleaned up. Um, and then you'd replace this. And then you have another bedroom here. Good sized bedroom. And then another bedroom in the front. So the, the bedrooms are, are all a nice size. And again, nothing is really in horrible condition. It does it, it all needs to be very much updated, but it doesn't seem other than the the floors coming up a little bit in here um it doesn't seem like like it's it's in in really bad shape of course a home inspector may find that there are all kinds of problems but that's why you, that's why you have the home inspected so i hope this helps and um look forward to any follow-up questions that i can uh, help out with thank you